Hey everyone, Kelsey here in the Toy Note Studio and welcome back. If it's your first time visiting with us, make sure you hit subscribe because you're not going to want to miss this. So guys, today I'm playing with Star Wars and Science. Star Wars has recently made a huge comeback with the new movies. I have always been a Star Wars buff myself, so I had to get my hands on this set. Science is also a toy genre that's really taking off here in the 2017 year. Uh, kids are super into it and adults are into it because they get to play along and it's constructive. They learn something. It's pretty cool. So this one is the Star Wars Science Kit. This is the Jedi Force Levitator. So basically it's supposed to help you use the Force. I'm sure it has something to do with static electricity, but we won't know until we get into it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Well guys, that was an easy unboxing. Inside I've got, uh, this isn't a foreign language, so I don't need that right now. But this talks about the force itself and how you're gonna use it with static electricity. Who called it? Me. Uh, and then these are your instructions. So what we have is you can do several experiments, it looks like. But I just kind of want to use some basic ones. So we're going to use the levitator, which is supposed to be this. But first, we're going to have to put some batteries in it. So as always in the Toy Note Studio, I have my handy screwdriver and a couple AA batteries. Okay, so we have batteries in our force deflector training rod. Oh, this is the training rod. And then there was these little, here they are, force deflectors. Now, these are really nothing more than, they've got the same consistency as like dryer sheets. They're super, super thin, but they're really staticky because it's like even attracted to my hand. So step one, cell batteries, we did that. Step two, and assemble the Jedi training rod. This is essentially a thick cardboard tubing. It's not really much more than that, but okay. So that is on. Hold the force deflector above the training rod while pressing its button. Okay. Release the deflector while still pressing button. Hmm. As the deflector touches the rod, release the button and gently shake the rod up and down until the deflector floats midair. You know, it would be helpful if I read the instructions before I try to do it. Okay, so hold the deflector while pressing the button. Release. And then... Hold it above. Release. Let go. Okay, this is just not working. I'll show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to make this thing float static electricity, and you're supposed to be able to use the force and charge it up using the batteries. But as you can see, I'm not really getting anywhere with it except a nice little fall. Oh, 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 my gosh. Okay, did you see that? It worked. Okay, you gotta see this. Come on, you. Okay, so now I'm in love with it. Now, as you saw on the little blip I showed you with the instruction manual, you can do um, bending water stream, create a dust storm, battle with your friends if your friend has one of these. And it's pretty cool. Like once you get it to actually work here. So down, you know, woohoo, I worked it. 
I now officially know the Force. I am a Jedi. So guys, um, I have fun playing with this. I think it's pretty cool. We've got, what did it say for the age ranges? Oh, it said six and older. I don't really see um, why a child younger, that could, younger than that couldn't enjoy it, but certainly getting it started and getting the force deflector to work um, would take a little bit of adult supervision and help. I do think it's kind of cool because this really wasn't that expensive. And if you have multiple children, you can get each child one. They can battle together. It's a safe way for them to play being a Jedi without beating each other in the head with a lightsaber. So, you know, it's a better alternative. So, but it also introduces some little bit of science, learning about static electricity. The front of the instruction manual talks about it, static electricity and why it works. So. I liked it all in all. I really wouldn't hesitate to buy this again, and hopefully you guys liked playing along with me. Until next time, guys, make sure you stay tuned here at Toy Notes. I'm going to be keeping up on the top 2017 trends for toys. That way, as your kid is asking about them, you can learn more about it with me. Also, check us out at ToyNotes.com, where I've got all kinds of lists about what's trending, um, reviews of toys that I've been playing with, and lots more that's really helpful for us parents. And until next time, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below some toys that you hear your kid asking about that you'd like to see a review for, or if you've had a chance to play with this, what your thoughts were. And until next time, guys, bye.